I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a pot made by Dave the Slave. I take two fingers from the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. A flat oval. I come on the left hand side and I draw a little straight line down on the left. Come on the right hand side, draw a little slight curve line on the right. Come back to the left and using a slightly curved line over, we're going to connect. Right here on the left hand side, I draw a curved line down and out and then a curved line in and stop. Come back up on the right hand side. I'm going to draw a curved line down and out and now a curved line in. Keep going and connect. Come up on the right hand side and we're going to draw a curved line out in. Come on the left hand side we're going to draw a curved line out in. Come back to the right side. Let's mimic that line with a little curved line. Doing the same thing on the left, we're going to mimic that line on the curved line. Now, the most important thing is Dave used to sign his pots. So we're going to write 1868 because he always used to date them. And then, miraculously, he signed his name. D a V E Dave okay let's see how we're gonna color this in okay this is pretty simple to color in so the first thing I'm gonna do is get my black and color the inside section at the top black and then if you have two colors of brown I'm gonna use a light brown first and I'm just gonna go over every section of my pot and I'm going to be careful around my lettering and my date so that I don't totally annihilate it. And then I'm going to kind of bring this down in a rounded kind of way, line, because I want the roundness of the pot to be shown. But I first I do it light to dark. Always start with a light color of brown because that's what these were made out of. Stoneware was usually brown or a light gray. Then take your darker brown and color over it. And that'll give you a little bit of the richness of the pottery which was stoneware. Now what you have to remember is that these jars, because they were big jars, were used to store food so they weren't real decorative but what was interesting about Dave Besides the fact that he was a slave and worked at the Edgefield Pottery in the South Carolina, he also learned how to read and write, which was against the law, but he learned how, and he signed his pots. So he was really kind of an artist. He was an artist. And then he would also write little inscriptions and poetries. See, I'm bringing the dark brown down. And one of his poems was, I wonder where is all my relations, friendship to all in every nation. So besides being an incredible artist, a potter, a ceramist, Dave was also a poet. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Dave the Slave pot all colored in. He went by Dave Drake, which was the name of the plantation and owner that he had. And he's a testament to just the artistic spirit, even in slavery, it came through. Um, he's a great story, a great person to look at for black history and just in general, an American hero. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>